everybody, Germinator here again. I want to show you an update to my combination lock that uh, I've come up with. Um, this is an update from my previous video, which I put out a really long time ago, which um, was more or less a speed combination tutorial on how to make buttons when you put them in uh, the combination in extremely fast will open up a door. But whenever you actually put the right combination in, but not at a reasonable pace it will not do anything so it's a good combination lock one because you have to know what the combination is um, obviously and two you have to put it in fast so even if somebody got the combination right if they were to try to actually break into your house um, supposedly but uh, they would get it wrong basically so um, this is all you need to do and you can do any See, that wasn't even fast enough. But you can do any um, buttons you want. This is just a four out pick to make it easier. And still didn't get it right. Okay. Awesome. There we go. So that was probably just fast enough right there. Obviously, I, I, I'm not very good with this controller, <laughs> which is the fail. But. All right, there we go. So um, to show you the rest all behind it real quick, this is to explain it um, this piston right here is the first button and it pushes out a redstone block or you could have a, a torch right here and just a regular block and it pushes over the torch but and it, it just pushes out and sends a signal through this repeater and by the time I hit the second button it extends the signal out and then now we have it to where it goes up and over into the next repeater and then I would hit this button next and it extends it and then this button is the last button of the um, combination and it extends it down to here then the pulse goes down and into a T flip flop that controls the door basically so that's the whole principle um, to show you quickly so if I have um, a wall of blocks like this one, two, let's just do six and I have buttons on uh, let's do three ha huh? and I have uh, buttons on all these blocks alright and now I'm just gonna pick which buttons I want my combination to be start it simple so you maybe went on the first block you'll put a uh, block on there or you can have a redstone block let's just do a redstone block if you didn't do redstone just put a hole down there with a torch where it would come out um, but if you do a redstone block and then you would have a repeater so when it gets pushed out it would send a signal to this repeater and have it on four now let's do um, two away from that we'll have an, our next combination or maybe maybe you didn't want your next button to be until the end that's fine too but let's just do right here that'll work and a regular block and then have your repeater right here so that gets pushed out, goes through these repeaters, this gets pushed out, it comes to here. Let's just have another repeater on four. That goes into a block. Torch. Uh, block. And a torch facing this way. Now we're going to have our next button. Let's just do... Uh, Alright. So we're going to have a repeater, it's seeing the signal going this way on four and let's just bring it back all the way back to the end again why not all right so just keep adding repeaters with delay and I'll show you more about the delay in a second with another block so basically my combination is first second to last on the bottom and then first on the top again so and then from that point it'll get pushed into um, that block will get pushed out and extend the signal to here We'll just do a repeat uh, spe spe speck of dust with a block that gets pushed up. This is just a T flip flop into a, let's just do a repeater right here. Repeater and that repeater is going into a sticky piston that has a block and then we're just going to have a torch right there and so the this is just so we can control a door basically we'll just do a mock door right here and then we'll just put some pistons here to represent a door all right 
So, let's face those the other way. Like that. So let's say this is our door for our, our, our um, whatever we were wanting to control. And here's our little doorway. I'm really failing tonight. I apologize about that, y'all. Alright, so there we go. So there's a door. And because I'm OCD, I'll put that in there. Alright, so what we say? See if I can remember. First, last, and then first again. Alright, so my door is not working properly. <laughs> Let's see what I did wrong. Okay, it's the top two. <laughs> Alright. Okay, perfect. So let's just put um, a half lab or something. There we go. Alright, so now let's try that again. So obviously I had it right first, last, and then top. And it did not work. First, second to last, top. Okay, awesome. I may be putting it in too quick. Which would be epic. There it goes. Alright, so this may be one of those cases where you actually have too much delay. So I think that is actually right. So we have 4, 6, uh, 4, 8, 12 takes a delay here. So let's take that down. Here we have not that much. So that's fine. And then here we have way too much, I think. So let's take that back down. So now it should be fairly quick. Just take away some delay on that. Alright, I think that's probably too slow. There we go. So, um, yeah, if it's just... A, few ticks too slow or you mess up you're obviously not going to get it like right now it's not going to do anything so you got to be fairly quick about putting it in and it will work so really simple combination and you know I see so many videos of people making these really complicated circuits to make a combination lock when in reality who's going to guess that combination so there's no need wanted to show everybody that if you uh, if you build it let me know everybody take care bye bye